so that he has become rich and he has given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and servants, maids and camels and donkeys. The book of Genesis chapter 30 verse 43. So the man became exceedingly prosperous and had large flocks and female and male servants and camels and donkeys. The book of Genesis chapter 36 verse 7. For their property had become too great for them to live together, and a land where they sojourned could not sustain them because of their livestock. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 19 verse 32. Now Barzillai was very old, being 80 years old, and he had sustained the king while he stayed at Mahanim, for he was a very great man. The book of 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 15. The king made silver and gold as plentiful in Jerusalem as stones, and he made sadars as plentiful as sycamores in the lowland. The book of 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 22. So King Solomon became greater than all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. That abundance, y'all. The book of Job chapter 1 verse 3. His possessions were also, also were 7,000 sheep. 3,000 camels, 500 yokes of oxen, 500 female donkeys, and very many servants, and that men was the greatest of all the men of the East. <coughs> the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 8. So I have come down to deliver them from the power of the Egyptians, and to bring them up from the land to a good and spacious land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite and the Jebusite. The book of Numbers chapter 13 verse 27. Thus they told him and said, We went into the land where you sent us, and it certainly does flow with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 8. A land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, and a land of olive oil and honey. The book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 7. I brought you into the fruitful land to eat its fruits and the good things. But you came and defiled my land and my inheritance you made an abomination. So these were just materialistic abundance references, you know. Because it talked about land and fruits and honey and milk and how God gives so much to us, man. We have to live large and appreciate it and embrace it, you know. That's the thing. We shouldn't be living in doubt, fear, and lack. We should be we should be, we should be living being bold, strong, courageous, having more than enough, you know what I mean? All areas of our lives, you know. So let's see. Now let's go. Let's go we go meet we're gonna read some more scriptures that regard to abundance and then we'll go from there. The book of the book of Exodus chapter thirty four, verse six. Then the Lord passed by in front of him and proclaimed, The Lord God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love and kindness and truth. The book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord, and he will have compassion on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. The book of Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6, Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them, and I will reveal to them an abundance of peace and truth. The book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask for or think, according to the power that works within us. See, God does way more than we can imagine. Always keep that in mind. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 14, And the grace of our Lord was more than abundant with the faith and love which are found in Christ Jesus. The first Peter chapter 1 verse 3, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 11, Jesus answered them to you, it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been granted. The book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 29. For to everyone who has, more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who does not have, even what he does have shall be taken away. The book of John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. See, Jesus wants us to have an abundant life, y'all. The book of Romans chapter 5 verse 17. For if by the transgression of the one death reigned through the one, much more... Those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in the life through the one Jesus Christ. 
The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10, But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace toward me did not prove vain, but I labored even more than all of them, yet not I but the grace of God with me. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 2, that in a great ordeal of affliction, their abundance of joy and their deep poverty overflowed in the wealth of their liberty. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15. For all things are for your sake, so that the grace which is spread to more and more people may cause the giving of thanks to abound to the glory of God. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 12. For the ministry of the service is not only fully supplying the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing through many thanksgivings to God. The book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 26, so that your proud confidence in me may abound in Christ Jesus through my coming to you again. The book of Titus chapter 3 verse 5, he saved us not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit. The book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 11, for in this way the entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be abundantly supplied to you. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 26. I prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord God, do not destroy your people, even your inheritance, whom you have redeemed through your greatness, whom you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. The book of Psalm chapter 93 verse 4. More than the sounds of many waters, than the mighty breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. The book of Joel chapter 2 verse 29 through 32. Even on the male and female servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will display wonders in the sky and on the earth, blood, fire, and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And it will come about who, who, that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be delivered. For out on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there will be those who escape, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. The book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18 through 20. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the surpassing greatness of his power towards us who believe. These are the accordance with the working of the strength of his might, which he brought into Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Now let's see the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 20. The law came in so that the transgression would increase, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 through 14. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that always having the sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed, as it is written. He scattered above, abroad, he gave to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in everything for all liberty, which through us is produced in thanksgiving to God. For the ministry of this service is not only fully supplying the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing through many thanksgivings to God. Because of the proof given by his ministry, they will glorify God for your obedience to your confession of the gospel of Christ and for the liberty of your contribution to them and to all, while they also by prayer and on your behalf yearn for you because of the surpassing grace of God in you. The book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 through 7, And raised us up with him, and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2, According to the foreknowledge of God the Father by sanctifying the work of the Spirit to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled in with his blood, may grace and peace be yours in the fullest measure. The book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. The book of Psalm chapter 119 verse 171. Let my lips utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17. For momentarily 
Light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison. The book of Psalm chapter 36 verse 8. They drink their fill of abundance of your house and you give them to drink of the river of your delights. The book of Isaiah chapter 64 verse 4. For from days of old they have not heard or perceived by ear, nor has their eyes seen a God besides you, who acts in behalf of the one who waits for him. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. But just as it is written, things which the eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. The book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 3. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. And no one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been purchased from the earth. That abundance is beautiful, y'all. It really is. Abundance spiritually. The Most High is awesome. His grace and mercy and peace is a beautiful thing to embrace. You know, we got to have an abundant life, you know. Let's read a few more scriptures. The book of John chapter 10 verse 10. The book of John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief comes only to steal, kill and destroy. I came that they may have a uh, they have, that they might have life and have it abundantly. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek first his king, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. The book of Psalm chapter 16 verse 11. You will make known to me the path of life, and your presence is fullness of joy, and your right hand there are pleasures forever. The book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1, Therefore I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to God which is your spiritual service of worship the book of John chapter 1 verse 12 but as many as received him to them he gave the right to become children of God and even to those who believe in his name the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 38 give and it will be given to you they will pour into you lap a good measure pressed down shaken together and running over for by your standard of measure it will be measured to you in return the book of John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him I am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father but through me the book of James chapter 1 verse 17 every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation of shifting shadow the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. The book of Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you in the way you should go. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is the dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. The book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. The book of Psalm chapter 31 verse 19. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you have brought out for those who take refuge in you before the sons of men. Yes, sir. An abundant life, people. We need to live an abundant life for God. You know, straight up. We need that abundant mercy, you know what I mean? The book of first Peter chapter one verse three. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The book of Numbers chapter 14 verse 18. The Lord is slow to anger and abundant in love and kindness, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but he will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generations. The book of Psalm chapter 86 verse 5. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in love and kindness to all who call upon you. The book of Psalm chapter 86 verse 15. But you, O Lord, 
are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abundant in love and kindness and truth. The book of Psalm chapter 51 verse 1. For the quiet